Good afternoon. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 692. And the topic today is, today is denim day. Why you, why you want to be wearing jeans today. I'll get to that in a moment. Before I introduce, my, before I introduce that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about and why I do these talks. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business because of that. I also, because of that, do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Art, which abbreviates in the title to MFTM. That's what it stands for, in case you're wondering. And this is episode number 692. And I'll talk to you today about Denim Day, which is today. Um, this is also, by the, also, by the way, is... Um, April is Sexual sexual Abuse Awareness and Education Month. I think that's what it's called. But anyway, so let's talk about Denim Day today. So, hi Jen, nice to see my broadcast. Oh, by the way, in case you're watching this on YouTube, it started out on Facebook Live, hence I'm interacting with people. And I'll do my best to repeat what they say, so that way if you're watching somewhere else where you can't see the comments, you'll be caught up, so to speak. So, today is Denim Day. In case you don't know the story, let me give you the breadth. So basically, if you saw people who didn't normally wear jeans, wearing jeans today, this may be why. And um, I was going to say, it's a bit late in the day to change it now. But anyway, if you're out in jeans, great. It's actually a statement and a stand. And this is what it's about. Back in 1992, in Italy, there was a, it was actually became a very famous um, court case, actually a, an appeal from a court case. What happened was a, um, a man who was giving driving instructions was giving instructions to this young teenage, well, this, I guess she was a 17, 18 year old teenager because she was just taking driving lessons, took her off to a, basically a country road and proceeded to rape her. He went to jail and then filed an appeal because there was a, I'm gonna be nice, there was a statement made that because she was wearing such tight jeans, there was no way he could remove them forcibly and rape her. She must have helped him. And he got off of the court case. He, he got out of jail based on that, that premise. The next day, all the women in the Italian parliament wore jeans as a protest against what the judge decided. So that was 1992. Starting 20 years ago in 1999, an organization that's in LA called Peace Over Violence decided or, or just realized it needs to be it needs to be talked about. So they declared, it's, I think it's the 24th every year, or it's the Wednesday, it's, it's maybe the last Wednesday of April, I'm not sure when exactly. But to declare that today is Denim Day as a reminder of that, I'll be polite, miscarriage of justice. I was about to go somewhere else, no, miscarriage of justice that was absolutely ruinous to her life and also detrimental to women everywhere. And because sexual, sexual violence and sexual abuse is still not off the table, it's still a very present conversation in this, in this country and in this world, Denim Day still has relevance. And stepping up and speaking about that is kind of what's part of my message as well in, in my, what I do in my work. It's, it's frustrating to say the least. Being a man in this world who sees women being hurt by other men as I'm not able to stop them doing it. You know, it's like I, it, I'm one guy and I mean, there are other guys too that stay in the same place I do, but a lot of men don't. And a lot of men are, are hurtful and demeaning and disrespectful to women. This is an extreme case, but it's not that extreme, unfortunately. So Denim Day today is a reminder because it's something that is still out there for people. There are still women being hurt by men and getting away with it as this court case proved back in 1982. So this whole conversation about sexual violence, sexual abuse has to be continually talked about and also brought to the attention of those that can do something about it. Um, on a side note, something I just saw an article today about this actually going as, as a, an, it's a, um, not United Nations, it's NATO. You see, I'm not sure if it's NATO or United Nations has finally gotten to pass a renew a bill about women who are sexual survivors in um, war war torn um, locations, like um, not so much refugees, but basically the ones who are surviving that. America 
actually, excuse me, Mike Pence, the vice president, forced them to change the languaging of that bill to remove um, something about health and health and sexual function from the bill because he, th he said it might include the ability, the ability to have an abortion. So what, they, what America did, because Mike Pence represented a country, was tell NATO that they wouldn't get on board with this bill unless they removed any language that would possibly imply that these victims, these women who were abused, sexually assaulted in war-torn environments, if they were allowed to have an abortion, then America wouldn't join. This is why I'm saying this conversation is not off the table yet. We still have a long way to go where we have a country so forward-thinking, so to speak, of this country, being led by people who still are so negative towards women. That, to me, is a... Um, it rankles, <laughs> if you know what that word means. And it's something that really upsets. For me, it's one of the things that I work, I work through a lot because I'm so passionate about my work and stepping up and speaking about this. So this, back to the, this thing about Denim Day, it's not just about that one case. Yes, it is started or inspired by the women who were upset after that court case finished. At the same time, it's still very relevant. This Denim Day commemoration is really, as my friend Deborah said last night watching her broadcast, is really, frankly, about men need to understand that women have ownership of their own bodies and they, we don't have the right as men to do anything about that without their permission. That was accurate, yeah. Make sure I said it the right way around. That basically women have, same as we have ownership of our bodies, guys, so do women. And when men make assumptions and, and do things to, at, around, talk about women without respecting that, that's out of alignment. That doesn't work for me. That, that is absolutely, frankly, that is, um, it bugs me, <laughs> to put it simply. So in my work to educate and inspire with these talks, part of that is to wake people up, part of it is to also remind people, part of it is also to empower women, because that's why I'm so passionate about doing this. Um, and this particular piece when I read the, I, I did the research on the article because I saw, I saw about this denim day yesterday is when Deborah posted her view on it. I went to the research and read the article about what happened and it was just like mind blowing how this would happen. It was so out of alignment. And the, and, and, and of course this was, well not say of course, it was, this was 1992 so it's almost 30 years ago. Still, we haven't come much further from that place. As I said, with what happened in NATO, with what the United States government did, thanks to Mike Pence, we have got a long way to go yet. But hopefully enough people are waking up so we can do something about it. And I'm passionate about that being something we bring to the table because it's time that we, well, it's past time that we talk about this, that we bring to the table the understanding that men and women have a lot to clarify and clear and become more respectful of each other especially men towards women. Yes, women towards men as well, to a degree, because I know there's also a couple of friends of mine talk about toxic femininity. And I talk about basically being more the dramatic feminist um, bitchy approach, which is different from feminism in my words. But the same thing is true where women have been disrespecting men. But the, the majority of abuse and, and demeaning comes from men to women. So that's why this is a part of that conversation. So this is just simply a reminder to you that today's Denim Day an encouragement to you to consider where you participate in this conversation and an encouragement to you to start a conversation. In fact, I'm starting one right here in this call. So if you want to talk about this, please, please note, make, make some comments in the comments. Um, I'll, respond, I'll definitely respond when I sign off. Um, what else do I want to say? That's really about it. I, want, I wanted to basically um, push this out there so they put this point out to speak about it to talk about it because it really is important things to think about so I'm going to keep this fairly short one little PS because I'm I'm proud of the fact <laughs> that I finally got the web page up for my come coming home to yourself course that I've been talking about the last five six days so in case you've been wondering where that is it's finally up and running if you want to go check it out I'll put the link in the comments but just so verbally it's my website which is barryselby.com forward slash coming home so check it out. And by the way, there's something very special because I've, I've changed the investment completely from what it was originally planned to be, something else entirely. So go take a look. If you want to join in and if it resonates with you, 
click the link to, s to schedule a chat with me to discuss the investment because it's not fixed. I'll leave it like that, keep it mysterious. <laughs> So with that, thank you for watching. Um, I do go live every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, except tomorrow, just so you know ahead of time. I'm being interviewed tomorrow um, on a webinar at 5 p.m., so I'm not able to do it live. So I'll go at 6 p.m. tomorrow, just so you know. So I'll post the comment. I'll post tomorrow's reminder in case you're watching this one. You want to tune in tomorrow? Watch me at 6 p.m. However, normally, normally it's 5 p.m. Pacific time every day, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com for, for facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Replays, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can watch them on my business page, which is barryselby.author, or you can watch them on my YouTube channel, and my YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please, be, please become a subscriber. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. Um, I hope this has been a resonance and landed for you in some way, shape, or form, because frankly, this is something that I believe needs to be talked about more than one day a year as a theme. That court case was, a, a, which is, was just another... Um, reminder of how, how disparate things are. I said disparate, not desperate, disparate. So with that, I thank you for watching and uh, think, I, I appreciate you considering for this for yourself. I think that's about it. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow, 6 p.m. tomorrow, just so you know, Pacific time on my personal page right here. And uh, take care of yourself. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Check out the links in the comments and I'll speak to... Oh, by the way, I think I'll put a link in the comments for the article as well so you can read about it for the court case because that would also be additive to the conversation. So check out the links in the comments. I'll post after I sign off and uh, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow, 6 p.m. Bye.